it's not only a, a cash shortage, which is the problem with education. There is also an enormous problem of organization. The quality control has become a bad word in India. Now, uh, people are increasingly asking for promotion without exam. Now, there may be a case for a promotion. There's absolutely no case for not having an exam and monitoring. If the, if the Koreans did move to universal coverage very quickly, but their quality wasn't that high. But when they raised their quality, it, it was because they were trying to raise it. And it doesn't help to give up exams and give up other ways of finding out how kids are doing, how the teachers are doing. The issue of responsibility of teachers is a very big problem. When, with my, you know, when I got the Nobel, the, uh, I had some money, <laughs> which was nice. But I, I was able to do something which I always wanted to do from the days of my night school. I was running it without any money at all. I got a little from Bishop Arati, the school. And, uh, and the teacher who was encouraging me most, Lolit Mojumra, is still alive in the middle 90s. Uh, but I didn't have any money. But when I got the Nobel, I had the opportunity of, of, of using uh, the bulk of it for uh, expansion, of, uh, for a Fertichi Trust in India and a Fertichi Trust in, Bengal, uh, in Bangladesh. Bangladesh, because of the interest, and that's connected with the story we're discussing, yeah. went for gender equity. Yeah. Ours went for elementary education and elementary health care. So one of the problems was that teacher absenteeism was very large. And quite often, uh, you know, there was a kind of unfortunate debate about uh, private tuition and there were people trying to ban it. That's not the issue. The need for private tuition indicates that there's something not happening in the school. Uh, and they, and, and, and you know, private tuition is not possible, it's unaffordable for people. And you, the schools have to understand also that many of the people coming into the educational ladder have never had no member of the family who's ever been to a school. They can't help you with the maths at home and so on. So you have to do much more in the school room. That recognition requires the union to rethink. So I wrote a number of things. The initial reaction of the primary teachers' union was very critical of me, indeed. Uh, what I'm getting from the business media now, I got from the school teach primary school teachers' union then. I'm quite used to it, actually, now. It, it, it's part of the toughening process that, in that case, it came from the union. But, you know, we are good. That's as I intend to do with the business right now, also. And I also invited them to a joint conference, and we had several joint conferences with all uh, the ABPTA, uh, you know, all the primary teachers association and so on. And I said, instead of criticizing us, you should join us. Now they have agreed to make a similar appeal to all school teachers that um, it is not adequate for you, the union, to look after the interests of teachers. It's also very important to look after the interests of the pupils. And I think you need an, a give and take on both sides. On the right wing side, rather than treating unions as complete paria and kick them, if you can, you have to give them a place because you can't, won't get responsible cooperation unless it is, comes from someone whom you respect. And secondly, we need a lot of dedication from them and a change of some of the union practice to defend the member no matter uh, uh, you know what the, uh, the guilt might be uh, against any kind of attack. You have to adjudicate. Now, it hasn't been very big yet, but there has been some considerable increase in teacher attendance in, in West Bengal. And we are trying to do similar thing in Jharkhand. We have a program in Bihar and so on. So I think uh, that's the second story. We need an organizational change, but perhaps most, imp I mean, the two most important thing is to recognize uh, the cooperation of teachers is very important and we have to seek that. And they have to be, I'm a great believer in arguing with people and they're being persuaded. And you could persuade them that it's very important for them to do. Right. But the, uh, but the um, along with that, we have to be very conscious of quality 